ahead. Okay, so Admala licked life out of ice and then nursed it with her milk. Um, on the sixth day of creation, God let this creature, this living creature, be on earth and live on, and this other beasts, like the rest of the animal kingdom. Dumanzi, the Sumerian female shepherd god, chose it to be her bridegroom instead of this very wealthy Uruk man. And if I now mention Guernica by Picasso and its corner, you're probably going to think the same thing without me even mentioning what it is. So, I mean, if I could magically erase cow and cuddle from existence right now, just the same, the stuff that I mentioned would make no sense, but alongside your eating habits, your diet, your religious beliefs, your everything. I mean, the real question and the real scary question is not what would have happened if the war world end had the war world war the war world the second war world? The second war world would have ended differently or if we had a zombie apocalypse. The question would have been why would have cows never roamed this earth? Um, to begin with, you all of it would have been looking at this world from at least five centimeters lower. Because if our starving ancestors have never found milk, we have never nutrition to the level that we have all day. You have made no sense of the world cuddle, because you would know nothing of what it is. So, as you probably do right now, right? So cows, beef, buffaloes, oxen, orchards, um, and all the rest of the species, uh, would make no sense to you. The majority of them who I might say are human made or human extinct um, because we shape them the way that they shaped us. They give us their food and their meat and their products and at the same time as returned we went ahead and extinct the majority of them. I think the most interesting thing, I can talk a lot about the species and how the bravery of the warriors was the first thing that we ever compared to, how they ever first ever documentation that we made of everything was cows in cave walls because what, that was what we thought would be an ochre and what would be a warrior it would look like. But I think the most important story is that the Maasai tribe actually has no written documentation of any of its myths besides one. The greatest cattle raid in history happened somewhat 3,000 years ago where part of the Maasai tribe fought against the other one the same way that they always did. They would sit around the warriors and the sticks. They would look into the well and send messengers. They would go to the nearest village and say, bring into your, all your cuddles or you shall be slaved or killed to death. And then whenever the village would say no, they would send the warriors after they have prayed with their stick to be carrying the dead body of the cuddles or the people that have killed and then send them into it. It was the greatest raid of ever, it lasted more than three months, and there's still not written documentation of how it was the weirdest and the healthiest cows they ever brought back home. <laughs> Thank you.